What is going on guys? This is X Satter here and welcome back to my channel guys. Today we are on some Train Sim World. Uh, we're going to do the, the next tutorial in this tutorial uh, series, I guess you would say, that I have. Um, I do want to show that I am on uh, Ultra Settings right now just because the tutorial that we're going to do, you can put it on Ultra Settings just because it doesn't really kill that much of frame rate. Uh, it's just because of where it's located at. Now I always will be playing on medium, but I know certain tutorials. I know I'm a, I can put it on ultra. Uh, I will also put the FPS that I have uh, up on the screen that you know you could hit with the F3 button. Uh, it's not going to show right here because we're in here, but I just wanted to show you I am on ultra. Let's see if we can get it to come up now. Uh, it will not. So whenever we start the tutorial, I will uh, I will hit F3. Um, so you guys can see the frame rate uh, that I'm actually currently at, and it's not a lot, but it is, you know, for the settings that I'm on right now with the computer uh, setup that I do have, it's not bad. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Uh, other scenarios, I will be back down to medium just because my computer really can't handle it. But now they have been optimizing the the game, which is really nice. Uh, it, I am on public beta three. I guess is what it is. So I am on the you know the beta and all that. So it will be more optimized as it comes out, and we could see if we can find out any bugs. But today we're going to do cold loading. Um, it says five minutes, but it, it does take a little bit longer. Unfortunately, I do not have editing. I don't have an editing program. Someone did message me a while back, and I never got around to it yet. Uh, if anyone does have a good free editing program that I could use, that would be helpful because when I go to do scenarios, because we're almost done. We only have four more to do at the in the uh, tutorials. Whenever I do scenarios and services, I do want to edit those out. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, I, I don't want to actually sit there and, you know, stuff that I could cut out, I, I will cut out. But we're going to do this cool loading today. Uh, there's another thing I do want to say, too. When, probably whenever I do do the scenarios uh, and services, then I'm probably not going to talk during them. I will have, you know... The beginning commentary you know, before and all that uh, but I'll probably either have my mic muted or if I figure out how to you know a good editing program that I would just do that separately and then just add that into the whole video uh, and just have make it better so that's what I that's what my plan is just because I don't really want to I want to just have the sights and the sounds for you guys kind of like almost rail fanning for it so that's that's what my plan is for the scenarios and the services uh, but for the tutorials, there's a dialogue, and I I believe I fixed the dialogue issue last time. It was like echoey. Uh, I believe I fixed it this time. I did test it after that. But we will get into this cool loading starting right now. Cool loading is a common occurrence on Sandpatch Grave, so we better take a look at how to do it. To engage the loading process, the train must be moving at a constant rate and not exceeding the speed limit. In order to move the train very slowly, this locomotive is fitted with speed control. This is located on the integrated function display. So will we hit the, uh, the left arrow key here, we head down here, uh, then we'll hit the right click on the mouse. So we could pull up the the actual arrow here, and then we'll click on this to turn it on, or it's actually set the speed to two miles an hour. And then we'll go over here, and then we'll hit on, like so. We're now ready to move under the coal loader ahead. So get the train moving. As we have set the slow speed control, it does not matter what throttle position is used. The locomotive will only travel at the indicated speed. Right, so we'll have everything set up here. Won't let us blow the horn to give us two toots. You know, what you're supposed to do, but... Oh well, it is what it is. We'll just head, uh, move forward here.
When the train is within range, the loader will activate and a notification will appear. All right, so actually we can't actually leave. What I was going to show you guys is uh, the actual loading process from on top of the car, but it will not let us uh, leave here. When we ever do one of the scenarios, uh, I will do that just to show you guys. We'll sit back down here. You guys can see my frame rate up at the top. I am on ultra settings, like I said. Uh, it's not the best frame rate. It's really not. Like you can see, it just dropped to 8 from 20, but it, it's not the best. There's some scenarios where it is green. Um, very rare. Uh, for the most part, it's in the red. Uh, and I am on ultra settings right now, so I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. But if I was on medium, it would more likely be in the yellow right now or, or in some spots in the green. But I just wanted to get better better video content, uh, better quality, I guess you would say. The process of loading the cars is completely automated. As each car passes under the chute, the loader will dispense coal until it is full. This will continue until all the cars are loaded. With the train under semi-automatic control, you can watch the loading process from an external camera. So we do have it set to two miles an hour. Um, you can have it set if you're going on a stretch of track up to 50, and you know it's a good four or five miles, you can just set the speed to 50 and it won't go past it. Uh, it does go a little, it fluctuates a little bit, but it stays in that range. So unfortunately we can't get out, I can't get on the car to show you guys the loading process, but I will be able to show you guys uh, from an external view. I, I wish that it would fix this, like that smoke issue doesn't really happen in real life like that, it would hit off of this. Uh, but I wish it would actually lower the the loading chute down to make it more more better. So you guys can see that the loading process there. I'll tell you the percentage of it too while it is loading, uh, so at this nice speed. I uh, should fill up every car to 100%, like so, so there's 100 right there, and then we'll start the next car. So we do have a lot of cars, well, quite a bit of cars. It's probably not going to do all of them, it's probably going to do these five. Uh, but in a normal scenario that we will do later on, you will have to load them all, it does take some time, that's where I want to edit that portion out so that's what I'm saying I need to get an editing program that's good uh, that'll help a lot you can see that one car didn't fill up to 100% I don't know why it, it seems to be like a bug issue like I said the, the, the loader shoot needs to be lowered uh, like in real life to actually top it off right um, so 1% of cool didn't get in the one cool car but it's no big deal it happens uh, well, we should be almost be done with this so we'll head back into the cab here behind us, which we'll go to the external view number two. To bring the train to a halt, return the throttle handle to idle, and on the integrated function display, press slow speed control off. Now bring the train to a stop. Alright, so we'll shut the throttle off here. So now you can see now we're in idle. And then we'll just head over to this display and we will turn this off. Like so. And then we'll bring the train to a stop. You're now trained on loading coal. There are two facilities for coal loading on the sand patch grade, Rockwood Mine and Shaw Mine. Alright guys, so that's the, the uh, coal loading tutorial there. Uh, if you guys didn't know how to do this at all, or uh, I know a lot of people are still having some problems with the issues with the frame rate and all that. Like I said, what I'm, what I'm running right now is fine. Uh, but we did get a score of 1150. We are now level 3 with our... Uh, player, we are now level three with the sand patch grade, and we're a level and a half with the AC 4400 CW, uh, which is really good. So we will continue here. We'll head back to the menu, um, head back to the main menu. So the frame rate, like I said, I I put it on for ultra settings just for that tutorial. Uh, I know a couple other tutorials that you know there is just uh, depending on where you're at, the frame rate is really 
bad. It still needs to be optimized a lot. Uh, so that I will be going back down to a lower setting, which isn't bad. Uh, I still can run the game decently, uh, what I like. So right now it's, it, it, it's fluctuating. So if we go into settings real quick before I end this video, uh, just to show you guys, we'll go over to here and we'll set this down to medium where I would normally be at. It, it's still, eh, it's still about the same, but you can see that it's actually going up now. See, now I'm in the green. I'm I'm going in it a lot. So about 50 frames per second. So I gained about 30 frames just from going from you know ultra to to medium. Now I know a lot of people are like, uh, I want to be on ultra. If your computer can't handle it, your computer can't handle it. That's all there is to it. So I'll show you guys one more time. Yeah, the quality, the picture is a lot nicer. So I you know 20 frames a second isn't bad. Uh, but once again, like I said, if we go down to we don't want to go on low. On medium, I could pull almost 50 frames a second, which is not bad at all. So, with the, my computer specs that I have, and you guys already know, that's already in the description below. So, I mean, it, it just depends. Like I said, for the most part, I'll be on medium just to have a better quality, uh, like frame rate quality. Picture quality is still really good, it's not bad. Um, but once I get enough money to save up where I could actually upgrade my processor, my graphics card, I will do so. So hopefully it'll, it'll be a lot better in the game by then. Hopefully it will be a lot more optimized for you guys. That I could run it on ultra settings all the time. So, but other than that, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this cool loading tutorial. Uh, you know, it's just something different. I just want to go through all these tutorials. Once again, if someone does know of a good program that I could use for editing that is free that I do not have to pay for but is really good and reliable uh, please let me know message me uh, on YouTube or, or comment below uh, whichever just so I could you know edit stuff even for you know truck simulator or whatever else I do uh, but other than that guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please leave a thumbs up uh, please subscribe if you are new and you do like the you know the series that I'm doing right now with both the American Truck Simulator and Train uh, Sim World um, and comment like I said, but if you do have anything else to say, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.